Decision making is the process of choosing a solution from available alternatives. Let's take a look at the steps used in rational decision making. Rational decision making is a systematic process in which managers define problems, evaluate alternatives, and choose optimal solutions that provide maximum benefits to their organizations. The first step in decision making is identifying and defining the problem. A problem exists when there's a gap between a desired state, what is wanted, and an existing state, the situation you're currently facing. The presence of a gap between an existing state and a desired state is no guarantee that managers will make decisions to solve problems. Three things must occur for this to happen. Being aware of a problem isn't enough to begin the decision making process. Managers have to be motivated to reduce the gap between the desired and existing state. It's not enough to be aware of a problem and be motivated to solve it. Managers must also have the knowledge, skills, abilities, and resources to fix the problem. Decision criteria are the standards used to guide judgments and decisions. Typically, the more criteria a potential solution meets, the better that solution will be. After identifying decision criteria, the next step is deciding which criteria are more or less important. Although there are numerous mathematical models for weighing decision criteria, all require the decision maker to provide an initial ranking of the criteria. Some use absolute comparisons in which each criterion is compared with a standard or is ranked on its own merits. After identifying and weighing the criteria that will guide the decision making process, the next step is to identify possible courses of actions that could solve the problem. In general, at this step, the idea is to generate as many alternatives as possible. The next step is to systematically evaluate each alternative against each criterion. Because of the amount of information that must be collected, this step can take much longer and be much more expensive than other steps in the decision making process. No matter how you gather the information, once you have it, the key is to use that information systematically to evaluate each alternative against each criterion. The final step in the decision making process is to compute the optimal decision by determining the optimal value for each alternative. This can be done by multiplying the ranking for each criterion and the weight that criterion holds and then summing those scores for each alternative course of action that you generated. In general, managers who diligently complete all six steps of the rational decision-making model will make better decisions than those who don't. So, when they can, managers should try to follow the steps in the rational decision-making model, especially for big decisions with long-range consequences. In theory, fully rational decision makers maximize decisions by choosing the optimal solution. In practice, however, limited resources along with attention, memory, and expertise problems make it nearly impossible for managers to maximize decisions. Consequently, most managers don't maximize, they satisfice. Whereas maximizing is choosing the best alternative, satisficing is choosing a good enough alternative.